but it's not. And I always talk about it. I would have liked to see more selling pressure this morning before the market opened so we can get long. Um, this rally, wow, a little reversal here. Uh, Future is about to go positive now. Uh, Halliburton down from yesterday. Oil just getting crushed again. It's always like interesting to say, hey, is it good or bad if oil goes down? Um, Ethereum at 1,074. So it's always... Yeah, like, eh, is it good or bad? I don't really know. Future's now up in the diet. R-I-C-K, uh, July 50s. Rick, July 50s. R-C-I Hospitality. Lucid now higher. Snap higher. Upstart higher. Lift higher. Saw some lift calls being bought yesterday. I'm still looking to get long. I would like to see the market go down this morning, though, in order to get long. Ebex trading here, can do down 14 cents. GM high, Tesla high, Google higher. Verizon down X. Uh, X was a nice day trade yesterday. Don't take day trades as swing trades. Don't take swing trades as day trades. That easy, right? Whoa. ARKK popping up a little bit here. Uh, all the high growth names that got absolutely decimated yesterday are all higher today. Pinterest higher. Oil down five. Someone was saying oil is going to sixty bucks. Why wouldn't that be really good for the U.S. consumer if oil went to sixty dollars? There's there's targets of oil at three fifty. There's targets of oil at sixty. Oh, Pepsi. They reported earnings. Earnings have been ratcheted down so much. Pepsi's not really moving. Mm, 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 mm. Expiration is on Friday. We have this uh, CPI tomorrow, number tomorrow. I'm recording this. Give me a second. Water. Sorry about that. Should grab some before the opening. Apple one five minute bar long. One winner so far today. Can always come back and reverse to a loser, but we had a buy here. So this is a bull five minute bar above the Ichimoku cloud. Bull five minute bar above the Ichimoku cloud. Where's the B day party? I think I'm going to Saratoga. Uh, New York. I think I'm going to Saratoga, New York. I wanted to do, I have, um, the problem is a lot of my buddies are going to the Hamptons a lot. So they need to save up for that. And then my other buddies are, well, I'm going to Columbia for my buddy's 40th. And a lot of people are saving money for that. So it's not a big birthday. It's my 43rd. So, um. Some people are going to Columbus, some people are going to uh, New York, so I can't burn it on their parade. Nike, uh, I still like Nike the long side, next week 111s. Based on the low of the day, the stock can get up to about 108.59. I would have liked to see the market go down 30 points this morning and then reversed. And I would have liked to get some long signals this morning, but we didn't. Canoe calls back to break even. Uh, TS is down a little bit. How's Cliff doing? Cliff up a couple pennies. Freeport unchanged. X unchanged. Apple on the five, 146.68. The only thing we've seen today. One trade, one winner. No signals hitting the tape. Like I said, the longest we've gone with, how, with signals. No signals hitting was 43 minutes. We've gone 10 so far. Mm. Do, 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 do. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. 
just being patient so far, guys. We don't force trades. Yesterday, same thing. We, we had a, we were pretty light on all the signals. So all the signals combined yesterday, um, we only we had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve signals across uh, twenty scanners. Twelve signals across twenty scanners yesterday. Twelve signals across twenty scanners. T8, Delta Call is being bought. Delta to earnings tomorrow. Target Hospitality. Delta, they're buying the 31s in their earnings, guys. If you want to play a bull call spread, I think it's okay. Uh, Delta Call is being bought in their earnings. Delta Call is being bought in their earnings. If you want to get long Delta in their earnings, I think it's okay here in Delta. I would buy bull call spreads. Maybe you buy the, I'd buy probably the 31, 32 call spread for about 35 cents, 34 cents there. So you can get into that call spread here in Delta, guys. You can get into Delta call spreads. Delta call spreads. For earnings, I think these are okay here in Delta. Delta call spreads. Delta call spreads, I think, are okay here for earnings. Delta call spreads, I think, are okay for earnings. 31, 32 bull call spread. Delta call spreads. Delta call spread. 31 32. You can get it for about 35 cents. Two to one reward or risk. Two to one reward or risk. DAL. It's right there. Whenever I have it up, you can always like click on this and see it up. So DAL call spreads. They did buy some weekly 31s. They have earnings. I might have called it out if it didn't have earnings. <sighs> X up a dime. Verizon no higher. Drafting looks weak. One five minute bar long in Apple. Let's still hold it up. 146.68. Well, Robert A., we're happy to have you here today. Every day is a great day, right? Um, we have a we have a bonus trade, guys. If you want the bonus trade, so free bonus trade. All you have to do is put in your information, and we'll send you to a bonus trade. So you want a free bonus trade? There you guys go. If you want a free bonus trade, there you guys go. So free bonus trade there for your viewing pleasure. Free bonus trade. I don't know what I'm going to send today yet. Probably hasn't hit yet. ARKK got up to 45, now back down. Zoom got crushed yesterday. Lucid, we got out of the 19 and a half. We got out of the 20 and a half. You know, we could not get much signals today as we're waiting for the CPI tomorrow. I think we'll get a weak print tomorrow, so I think the market could rally. GOEV, wow. Canoe, uh, Walmart's buying 4,500 trucks for them. That's crazy. And I don't mind that we don't see a long signal yet. 
I would like to see the market down more this morning so I could get long. Now we see everything basically unchanged. Apple still buy 146.68. A lot of times people take that signal and as it, the stock moves up, then they'll get out of that signal. What you choose to do the signal, you're on your own. But it was a buy 146.68. One forty six sixty eight was a buy. That seems like an afternoon. We're like, I think people have checked out and are in the Hamptons already. <laughs> that seems like an afternoon. The, the order flow in the derivative space is so uh, so low. We're just waiting. I want to hear that noise. The noise sounds like this. Come on. I know. Halliburton getting crushed. I talked about buying bull call spreads for Halliburton, buying bull call spreads for Delta. Baba calls being sold. Nike now down in the day. Nike calls are down to 72. They're buying next week 110. The order wasn't big enough in Nike for me to get that excited. They're buying about a thousand lot. It's not small order, it's just not a huge order. This is where my damn credit card was. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Does anybody have anything to clean the Yeezys? I need a cleaning kit. Why is that one so expensive? Wow, this one, Pink Miracle. Features only have five. Four. No long signals so far today, guys. No long signals so far today. We're just waiting for something to hit. I was watching this really, really interesting documentary yesterday. Um, yeah, if anybody wants to buy any jet skis, worst decision I've made in a long time. Um, <laughs> uh, FUTU 48's trading here. I still got some jet skis, guys. I, I run a trading room to try to sell jet skis. I just bought, it's called Pink Miracle. Still trying to get these jet skis sold. <sighs> wow. Probably it's jet skis. I don't have a marina. I don't have a house. So I don't have a marina or a house. That's the problem with the jet skis. And I don't have a trailer. Whoa. SLV calls being sold. Tesla down in the day. Apple still signal still positive here. Because the buy was 146.68. So Apple's still in the long. If you're new to the room, guys, it's usually more exciting than this. I, pro I promise. Um, jet skis, I paid $22,000. i will sell them for anything reasonable. They're in Florida, though.
The documentary is called King of Stoinks. I was just kind of messing around yesterday. Um, it's about this German company. Uh, it's kind of like crypto and this German company. Uh, it's kind of interesting. King of Stoinks. There's six episodes. I watched four of them last night. It's about this German company that's basically in the crypto space. And they deal with a bunch of like illegal people using their their thing. And they buy a bunch of companies with high growth because they need it. It's pretty, it's kind of interesting. Snapchat up two pennies. DraftKings up four pennies. Pinterest up three pennies. Apple buy right here. Like I said, guys, I would like to see the market go down. If I was trading Apple on the five, I would have traded this week. Calls, look at oil. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> ACAD AUG 22s. Those are way out of the money. Stock would have to go up 50%. It's got a nice ATR here. I don't even know what the stock does. Hmm. Interesting. Trade is 100,000. Oh, it's Arcadia. Uh, I'm not calling. I'm not going to call it a signal in here, but it did, these did hit the tape, guys. So ACAD guys, <laughs> ACAD. Um, so option hacker, buyer of ACAD, uh, 819, 2022, 22 calls. So these did hit option hacker. Uh, I'm not calling out a signal here, guys. These things that I have to, stock would have to go 50%. I really don't like to mess around in like a pharma space or bio space of a stock I've never heard of. So ACAD, these did hit option hacker guys. First signal to hit the scanners. Um, I'm not calling this as a signal. I was thinking about it, and then I did not. Um, so ACAD hitting our proprietary base option hacker. And we've been getting a lot of questions. People are like, hey, okay, where can I buy all the scanners? All the scanner needs are at optionhacker.com. So all the scanners I use are at optionhacker.com. So the only thing I really use is I use a couple tools on Thinkorswim. I use Option Hacker and then I use Finviz for my screening. So ACAD, guys. So optionhacker.com is where you can get all the scanners. Uh, moonshots will be added shortly, I was told. So moonshots will be added shortly. Moonshots is not on there yet. Moonshots is not on there yet. So many stocks have made a 52-week low. 122 stocks making 52-week lows today. We can scrub that list for our fallen angels. So I actually it only took 24 minutes for a signal today, but I didn't like that signal. After the first 30 minutes, I wouldn't even day trade anymore. So we give day trading 30 minutes. After that, I don't think I think it's too hard to day trade. So ACAD, we saw it hit the tape. I would not have taken that trade. ACAD hitting the tape would not have taken that trade. You're welcome. So at least a couple things exciting today. Number one is um, you get a free bonus trade. Free bonus trade, and you can get all the scanners. Boom, 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 do. This is a, like a live chat feature on Option Hacker, so if you have any questions, you can always ask them there. Features up for banana, banana, banana. RXT. We actually saw a really good signal on RXT a while ago. 
98s. 900 trading here. We want to see make sure it's for the thousand. What is the symbol of the bonus trade? I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what it is yet. I can't give you what the say is. Signal of the bonus trade is right now there wouldn't be one. Is the euro hitting parity for the first time ever? Time to go to Europe. Oh, they're doing there's uh crazy riots in Sri Lanka. I was like looking at what, what countries um um I was looking at what countries I might want to travel to. And then uh, Laos is one of the countries I want to go to. Um, and you can't even go there. Can't go to Sri Lanka. Can't go to Laos. So you can't go to Sri Lanka. Can't go to Laos. Uh, you can't go to... Um, Anything that borders Ukraine, so you can't go to, uh, uh, can I go to Romania? You can't go to Poland. So we see one signal so far hit the tape, and then one five-minute bar long. Five-minute bar is still a tiny little order. ING trade in here. So I'm looking for big single orders, guys. Um, yeah, I, I want to go to Laos. I've been to Vietnam. I've been to Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia. Uh, Laos has always been on the list. I want to do China and Japan, but I feel like those are countries you, I want to go with somebody. I don't want to be going around like China and Japan by myself. I feel like Eastern Europe is a lot easier to kind of like go by yourself. I might do a trip to uh, – I was looking at Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Albania, Bulgaria was my trip I was looking at. That would be fun. Run the trading room at 3.30 p.m. That feel That's a weird feeling. 3.30 p.m. I'd be running the trading room. Bank of America calls trading here. Nothing to do in that one. Patience is a virtue, they say. Patience is a virtue. One signal, one five minute bar long. I can open futures dot on the day. Wow, goes the market. Whack. You're La Lithuanian? Latvian. Sorry, Lithuanian. I said they've been buying a lot of AC, uh, a firm calls. And I, like I said, guys, in my notes that I sent this morning, I would like to see the market down this morning so we can reverse higher. I, I wouldn't have been buying a gap open. Uh, Apple, five-minute bar is now a loser. So that trade is now a loser. FFIE doing really well here. I don't know why it says it got up to 69. Lucid down of the day. We took off Lucid on Friday. The 19 and a half and the 20 and a half. 19 and a half are down to 25 cents. 20 and a half is down to 11 cents. ACAD, I wouldn't have taken. Um, Aug 22s. You know, if you wanted to go there and put like a 20 bid or 25 bid, at 20 cents, I would take them. Um, they hit the tape at 50. They're August 22s. So at 20 or 25, I think they're okay. At 20 or 25, I think they're okay. I wouldn't take them here, though. Futures down 10, 25.
pa 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 no day trades guys i wouldn't be taking any day trades um gsm uh calls are now down when we take a tr when we trade a signal we trade a symbol and it's lost money before we try not to take it again like okay that's in the doghouse we're not gonna take the signal so that's what we passed in gsm yesterday Halliburton, I think call spreads okay. Delta, I think call spreads are okay. Uh, we actually see that. I think that airlines should be going up when oil is getting crushed, but that's just my intuition and my thinking process. I mean, they're saying oil is going to go to sixty bucks. Sounds been good the whole time. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> da -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. I don't mind the market down, guys. I don't mind the market down. When the market goes down. And the yellow submarine. EWZ training here. Now the market goes down. We're we have the inflation number tomorrow, guys. We'll see what it comes in at. Futures down 14. Oil getting decimated. <coughs> canoe we're staying in. We almost hit target one in canoe. We didn't. So oh, I got sixes. You can get it for 65 now. We got you at 80. Trading's been a little bit harder. Trading always goes through ebbs and flows. I wouldn't use a stop with canoe. Thirty-five minutes of the day, five-minute bar and apple loser, ACAD technically a loser, but I wouldn't have taken it. Og twenty-two. If you wanted to put a twenty-cent bid in there, I think it's okay. So you couldn't dare put a twenty-cent bid. Nice trade in SPY. When you guys have trades, you're allowed to put them in here. Now, if you're just rallying, NXPI, uh, UAL calls being bought. Uh, uh, uh. Upstarts, 
put put skew. Uh, applied volatility skew. I can add in eyeball and see. I don't. I'm not one of those traders that looks at skew. I used to look at skew. Um, it's got standard skew where the downside puts have a higher implied volatility than the upside calls. So that's a standard skew. That's pretty standard, actually. And corn has a reverse skew where the calls are higher. Uh, ACAD, I don't like it because A, they're 50% out of the money. So they're buying the 22 calls. You have to think about it. The stock has to move 50% for the stock to be in the money. So that's number one. And number two, um, the market was really wide. So the market was really wide. So two reasons I didn't like uh, ACAD. ACAD. Futures whack. Hmm. One signal. Day trades are done for the day. If you're new to the room, welcome to the room. We run 20 proprietary based scanners in the derivative space. Almost all our trading is derivative based. We don't trade any futures anywhere. We don't trade any Forex. The only crypto I do is I buy Ethereum. <laughs> I don't trade uh, cryptos. I just buy Ethereum. Twitter calls me bought 36 and a half. So thank you. Next week. Twitter actually up today. I want to build this as a room, as a community. All the scanners, like I said, if you have any questions about those, you want to check out any of the scanners, optionhacker.com for all your scanner needs, guys. A lot of people take advantage of those scanners. AK is only around, I'm only around five hours a week in the trading room. Hour a day, five to four days a week. Yeah, we love for you guys to put out your own ideas. Share your ideas. Tell other traders what you're doing. I love it. GM, 12 cents. Those are cheap. So Moonshot's one of the scanners today. No signals. We'll go over all those in about five minutes. We have bonus trading today, guys. We have bonus trading today. Patience is a virtue. I would have liked to see the market down more this morning. I personally like when the market down in the morning. Peloton up 30 cents. Air KK now down was up this morning. DraftKings down was up this morning. In the yellow submarine. Today's uh, bonus trading is in here, yes. Today's bonus trading is in here, yes. Mm 
This is how yesterday was, they could, and Friday too. They couldn't figure out if the market was going to go up or down, so they just kind of chopped it around. <coughs> this is the hardest day to trade too. These are the hardest days to trade. When the market goes down, you're like, oh, it's time to get short. And the market reverses, goes up, and you're like, it's time to get long. You get short. AK, the implied volatility dollar movement, figure it out how it's calculated. Um, no, I don't know how they do that. I would just get on Thinkorswim, um, the chat box and ask them. Just ask them. GSM, we saw some September 7s being bought. They're down to 50 cents. Look at Verizon go, guys. Wow, Verizon. We saw a signal yesterday in Verizon. So this hit our scanner later in the day, guys. I want to show you this signal in Verizon. So Verizon hit later in the day. So Verizon hit yesterday. Look at these calls that hit yesterday. So if you had our penny spike scanner, guys, you could have made 200% profit. So they hit later in the day, guys. You can see right here, 500 Verizon. This week, 51 calls traded for 23 cents. Okay, so you see right here, guys, yesterday on our penny spike scanner, the penny spike scanner flagged a buyer of Verizon, 51 calls. You can see here them on the right, those are up 200%. So the penny spike scanner flags uh, order flow that are cheap options, 10 to 50 cents. So to get in those trades, you can get in those trades for 10 to $50. So Verizon flagged a signal, and those are up 200% here at Verizon on that signal from yesterday. 200% in Verizon. 200% here at Verizon. V Rising. Yeah, so for Penny Spike is um, big calls being bought with a cheap uh, eight.